Well, I want to acknowledge from the start that this is a complete sin. <laughs> uh -huh. She said, I'm coming into town and I love to get together and I said it's good. And then I sat up in the middle of the night last night, which is true, and thought this is a cooler story than just for me. Okay, well, I'm Wendy Moffat. I'm in the English department and Katie was my student for a number of years. Four. <laughs> Four years. And it, when did we first meet? Freshman year. First oh. day of class. <laughs> first class. <laughs> that, that is uh, um, middle age talking. You graduated three years ago, which makes me feel very old. And over the last few years, I've been getting like cool postcards mm -hmm. from far away. Yeah, from far okay. away. My idea after college was that I wanted to do advertising for small farms. So, you know, image content and you know, copy for websites and just like slight design. What made you think you could do it? <laughs> I just did. Ah, <laughs> oh, the liberal arts. I mean, you had photography. Yeah, you had... and my junior year, I worked on um, an independent study photographing organic farmers in the area. Okay. So that okay. was sort of where okay. my story and interest in it started. You okay. were graduating, walking down the steps. What did What did you know? What did, What didn't you know? Uh, that I was ready to go pretty far away. Right. Um, yeah, and that I wanted to keep reading, I guess, I don't know. And the first postcards came to me from? Uh, Salt Spring Island in British Columbia, in okay. Canada. Right. So I went out there and for like six months I was archiving um, images. You know, March came along and they needed help on the farm that day. And Michael was like, can you help me? And I was like, yeah, of course. And then I just didn't want to go back, so. <laughs> yeah, plenty of <laughs> So um, that was 18 months. And I started to get postcards from the Hudson Valley. Yeah, okay. and I moved to the Hudson Valley because I wanted to grow food for the state that raised me. My idea initially was to write for this uh, magazine that was based in Hudson for just the winter and then go back to British Columbia mm -hmm. but I fell in love with the area and stayed so I was right that winter I wrote for modern farmer magazine yeah. and um, then I start getting those which are kind of cool yeah they're, they're funky yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and but I knew that I wanted to get back into farming after that winter mm -hmm. and so I applied to a farm out in Germantown New York I've worked there ever since so that was last it's almost coming on a year my work is very well valued at mm -hmm. my farm now. Mm -hmm. um, Can and you so, live on the money that you're making? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a, yeah. And that's um, a nice goal, especially <laughs> I'm speaking now from a parental perspective. Yeah. <laughs> I have coffee, or did. <laughs> <laughs> and I have licorice tea. <laughs>